Well, uh, what kind of wine is this? This is a 1987 New York City uh, Switch. Swatch? Swatch water. <laughs> Swatch. It's French. Well, cheers. Today, got something very special planned. Jason and I have coordinated a bro date in the kitchen, preparing episode two of Get Ripped With Me. Cheers, bro. Meanwhile. Good morning, guys. It's uh, 9 a.m. right now. I'm just getting ready to do some cooking because today, John will be coming and we'll be filming. It's been over, I believe, Man, it's been over like a month since our last video. The last time we filmed, there were like 2,000 subscribers. And now there are almost 14,000. Incredible, incredible. And so in episode one of Get Rip With Me, we went to Costco together and I tried to show what ingredients I get for a very time-effective and cost-effective meal prep. I spend no more than 45 minutes on my weekly meal prep. You heard it. 45 minutes to prepare more than 10 meals. Now, a huge drawback to my meal prep is that my meals don't taste like food. Some have described my chicken as having the same texture as a tire. It's not very nice. Jason has described my chicken as being as dry as the Sahara Desert. Also not very nice. My coworkers have seen my food and have never asked for a bite. So I'm alone in eating my meal prep. Nobody wants to eat with me. This meal prep is not very tasty and to be honest, like the taste is kind of off-putting. Especially like the meal prep that's been sitting in the fridge for like a couple of days. I can't believe you can eat that stuff. It's, it's hard as a rock. Hard as rubber, okay. Exaggerating. But yeah, it's really hard. You get a good jaw workout like chewing that chicken. So the challenge today is a challenge that Jason has been wanting me to do for a long time, even before we started filming, and that is to make my meal preps, to make my cooking a little bit more tasteful. <sighs> even before going to his house, I'm skeptical. Um, part of my hesitation in accepting this challenge is that I don't think my meal prep can get any better than what it is right now. But Jason gave mine a try, and I'm willing to give this a try. John thinks he has the most efficient method of preparing chicken. But let me tell you, I have a huge, huge secret. The secret weapon? No. Blow his mind away. Let me show you what it is. We got chicken. The waffle. This right here is the staple anyone that's trying to build muscle while losing fat. Chicken for that uh, protein. Broccoli for, uh, I don't know what it's good for actually. Anyway, so this is actually not the secret weapon. The secret weapon is inside this box. All right, you guys probably have no idea what this is. But let me give you a clue by showing you guys what else I got. You'll know. Got this thing. I don't know if you guys know what this is. This is used with that. And then this last last one will give you a... Uh... Actually, let me just open this box. Ta-da! This... This is a sous vide machine. Um, I know what you guys are thinking right now. I don't want you even there to think of what I'm thinking. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a sous vide a perfectly cooked chicken breast. And more importantly, I'm going to surprise John. He thinks his method of preparing chicken is the most efficient. It's not. And this chicken tastes like shit. Jason, we're gonna see whose meal prep is superior. So in order to give you guys a fair comparison, 
we're not only gonna be filming his meal prep, but mine right now. Let's do it. Okay, step one. There's only a few ingredients you need for my meal prep. Let me show you. This is six pounds or 2.7 kilograms of straight up boneless chicken. This meal prep here is seven years in the making. It has three main components that I need in my meal prep. One, time effectiveness. Two, cost effectiveness. Three, nutritional value. With these three things and the willpower to succeed, you will get fit. All right, and then we want to mix that. And then you want to gently caress your chicken. You want to caress it with love because this chicken's been through a lot. You're normally supposed to wait for it to heat up, but again, I don't have time. So, hello. And we'll see you. Hey Google, set my alarm for 45 minutes. So I let my brown rice sit overnight. It should be good to go. That's it. The preparation time is really no more than 15 minutes. Last night I had to prepare the rice and theoretically I would have had the vegetables on the top layer. Up here. Uh, with that you have a week's worth of chicken, vegetables, brown rice. Eating chicken twice a day can be very, requires a lot of motivation because it doesn't taste good. Meanwhile. So we have two frozen chicken and one uh, one pack here that's been thawed, frozen and thawed again. So I don't know how fresh this one's gonna be. No, yeah, it smells pretty good. Most people hate chicken breast, not because chicken breast is like not tasty. Most people don't like it because usually it's not well cooked. And even if it's well cooked, if you leave chicken out for more than a couple of hours, it's gonna, it's gonna dry out. But the main advantage of this is that you will have perfectly cooked chicken at a very controlled temperature. So you pop in a bag, you set a timer, you have chicken ready. Perfectly cooked and fresh. No meal prep. Wow, that's crazy. If this goes all well, I don't know if it's gonna go well. My theory or my prediction is that he will reconsider. Like, I'm really excited for this. Let me first set up here. I think I did an apple talking. Kind of dry. Alright guys, everything is set. I'm just gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna wait for John. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, I'm just pumped about this chicken. I've never been more pumped about chicken breast than I have been. <laughs> Such a cute dog. <laughs> Hello. What's his name? Her name? Nova? Hi. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> See ya. No better feeling than the morning workout. <laughs> 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 
walking around the gym like this. What's the nice? This is J-Bro in action, baby. to Jason's place in about a month and a half. It's been so busy lately, but I'm glad we are reuniting and filming something today. Housekeeping! Open the door! <laughs> Hello, housekeeping. Hello! Did you order a hot housekeeping? Yes, I need a small to undo my bed. Oh, oh, that's not me. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Welcome back to another episode of J Bro. Where are we, Jason? We're in my kitchen. We're we're gonna cook some broccoli and chicken breast. Simple. I could do this. <laughs> well, you're wrong because this is gonna be a gourmet chicken and broccoli. Personally, I think. This 45 minute per 10 meal, just as good as what you're gonna show me. I'm gonna prove you wrong today. I'll make that even faster. Requiring literally like five minutes. That's impossible. 45 minutes per 10 meals. There's no way you can beat that. I'll show you. Like, elaborate, I don't understand that. I'll show you. I, I'm, a, I'm a scientist, I discovered something Wait, so new recently. I, I just don't understand what you're saying right now. How could you possibly cook more than 10 meals in less than 45 minutes. There's no way you can beat my efficiency. My method doesn't even require chopping. You're just lying. I can beat it. There's no way. I can beat it. There's no way, because you're actually sitting there cooking, like chopping stuff up and then like cooking. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not going to chop anything today. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And we're going we're gonna to find out. But first, <laughs> what? Wait, Jason, you can't just lie to the camera. I'm, actually, I'm just confused. The point is, there's no way that you can beat my time effectiveness of my meal prep. Well, the point, I'm going to prove you wrong. <laughs> Do you have like a like a servant or something? I I have a secret magic that I prepared just for this special video. Oh, you got a machine. You got a sous vide. Oh, dang! I told you, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, dude. That's yo. Okay, so you got. Dang, I told him. Uh, uh, that's why you had a. <laughs> I still think this is gonna be slower than the oven, but I agree. This is a this is a good, good great invention. Cooking time wise, yeah, yeah, it might be a little slower. Yeah, but once you just dump it, you get you forget it. Okay. And you wait, then you're just convincing me to invest in this movie. <laughs> yeah, I am. I could have done that. This whole time, I thought that you were gonna convince me that the actual art of cooking is worth it. So, dude, you should have told me because I actually had all this like the storyline in mind. Well, I was gonna, I was gonna have you do the whole storyline, and then, and then surprise you at the end. I, I don't have to say this video anymore. Jason, take it away. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to Jason's sous vide show. <laughs> Today, our special guest, John. Oh yeah, John Yu. Oh, yes. It just became viral in Thailand. So, sawadee krap. Yeah. Krap. So the original plan. Let me just explain briefly. Mm -hmm. The original plan was for Jason to try to convince me that the art of cooking is worth the extra time yeah. involved. Jason enjoys cooking for the sake of cooking. Mm -hmm. um, uh, learning about flavors, what combinations make sense, things that normal people like to make. <laughs> um, and I was willing to try. After many years of him telling me that I am a caveman and I have no taste buds and that I should start appreciating food. Guys, to be honest, I knew I wasn't going to convince John to follow my cooking method. He already tried. I've already tried to make him cook. He, he's, uh, he's gotten better. 
I want you to have healthy jaws going forward. What do you mean by that? Like you, your jaws might <laughs> be overworked and you might get um, arthritis. Yeah, it's okay. I have a lot of dental friends who take care of me. Ah, yeah. Good point. <laughs> Prevention is better than intervention. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Smart man. Yeah. So let's let's find out whether or not it's this chicken. This is the first time you're trying it. Okay. <laughs> this is our, okay. I have heard. So this is cool. We're the first time trying this CD machine together. I have no idea like what this is going to be. <laughs> Wait, just these two? Yeah, it's just this two. I, I I did it this morning. I literally just like popped it out, put it in, sealed it, and just dumped it in. That took less than 30 seconds. And I know this is gonna go viral because this is our first time a, a YouTuber is using a sous vide machine to make the chicken breast. This is gonna be a game changer for every single fitness person out there who's been eating that dry ass chicken. Now you're gonna have to save time. And plus, that's just the fact that you haven't tried it. You've been trying to teach me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, bold. But well, I, I hope it fails. <laughs> So we can publish this and I can, I can laugh at you. Dude, that looks more like rubber than my chicken. Well, let's find Wait, out. let me show. That looks even less visual. This is less visual than mine. This looks like... This looks like clay. What are those? They're, they're called my sandals. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because it's, it's been sitting in its own uh, like blood and stuff like that, so it's not gonna look good coming out of the. Dude, side by side, side, I think mine wins. <laughs> and this is a competition, bro. Well, Which one would you rather have? This one or this one? All right, Mister, I don't care about the looks of the food. It's about the. Well, bro, I mean, this I wouldn't even touch that. If, if Subi can make this like thought on thought thought chicken, <laughs> wait, it's good. This is old. It's gonna be fun. Alright, alright. Oh, it's juicy. Oh, okay. Oh, yo, you see that juice? Okay, okay. You see that juice? That does look juicy. Yeah. Yo. So, how does a sous vide work? So, sous vide is a slow cooking method. You put, uh, usually meat out of the container. You let the water heat, uh, the connection of the water heat, cook the food to its temperature. So there's no overcooking. And you just set it and forget it. I thought you forgot about the sous vide and then you uh, know where you're wrong. Anyway, I didn't know you were actually doing that. Right. How many? Oh, okay, go. <laughs> Alright, throw this one down. That is juicy. That's juicy. This is with no flavoring. There's no flavoring? You're just looking at the And this is with the thawed, mom thawed, sauce, one week old chicken. Dang. Wait, maybe that's the method though. Maybe you're <laughs> thawed, thawed, thawed. Yeah, it's like Try to cook something tasty. Yeah, let's go. Yo, J Bro dropping an album. Are you ready? Jason? Um, so, that's some <laughs> store-bought 
fresh tomato sauce. Excellent. Yeah, I don't know if it's fresh, but it's good. It turned into a cooking show, man. Yeah, this is great. This, this guy here, like, it's a king because this will never go bad. I buy a lot of fresh tomatoes and I always go to because I never eat it. What? Uh, I'm just kidding. Um, bad jokes, bad jokes. I was trying to control you again, bad jokes. But in all seriousness, let's get to the good stuff. The last ingredient is ground turkey. Um, so everything here is low calorie and I would say high in vitamin C. High in vitamin C? Yeah. Okay. What disease do you get when you're deficient in vitamin C? It starts with S and it ends in curvy. Scurvy. <laughs> I call this Jason's healthy chili. Oh, we're making chili. Yeah, yeah. Great. There's no. Have you have you cooked for someone recently? So this recipe I was actually inspired after a, a failed attempt. You cooked for a girl? Yeah. <laughs> what was this? I swore to a girl that I could make like dang pasta, and then out of nowhere, like she asked me to cook pasta. Well, you on the spot. It's because you told her that you could make pasta. Yeah, I didn't think she was going to like actually ask Dude, me. Dude, that's like asking for someone pasta. to ask you. No, you know, like you kind of like... Hold on. Wait, are you actually... So, you took the challenge. Yeah, I thought I could just do it. Yeah, pasta's not that hard. Yeah, but like, I, I didn't have the tomato sauce. Uh, all I had were fresh tomatoes. You tried to make them scratch. Yeah. Why can't you just go to the grocery store? Uh, I didn't want to go outside because it was cool. Yeah. So she came over? Yeah. And you cooked her? Yeah. Did she like it? Yeah. <laughs> and that was the last time I saw her. <laughs> yeah, but if, that, if the girl is not going to meet you a second time just because you failed at making pasta, then I'm going to just go and keep it going. Well, to be honest, the pasta really was bad. <laughs> She was nice enough. Yo, I think you should maybe try some stuff before you give it to people. Like, the Suvi was for the first time. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. So, we're gonna move on. There's no cutting the ball, Dump it in. Dump that sucker in. It's been a long day without you, my friend. I know how you how to use a walk. I'll show you. Oh! Damn! Game over. One flip. Wow! You one might shot one kill. Damn. Okay. Okay. Can you show me anything else? <laughs> <laughs> uh, onion bay. Onion bay. Wow. Looks good, man. Looks good. It smells so good right now. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. so, the most important thing is to make sure it's going to be easy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. That, that is some good stuff like that. Wow. Yeah, I always, I really do appreciate when Jason cooks. Appreciate the effort you put into your cooking yeah. when you do it for other people. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate the fact that you eat like a monster when you cook. Oh, dude, yeah. I eat <laughs> so much like <laughs> Jason's house. <laughs> it almost feels like um, back home. Yeah, because that's where I feast. Sometimes I have to go to groceries again on the same day. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I do eat the most at Jason's house. Uh, yeah, bon appetit bro, thank you. Another thing, we actually do have dishes in this house, but this is a meal prep episode. Ah, so we got it. Dude, this is amazing. Pepper wine. This is amazing. That's a uh, pepperino just out of the jar. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Well, uh, what kind of wine is this? This is a uh, 1987 New York City uh, switch. Swatch? Sewage water. <laughs> Swatch. Oh, it's French. Well, cheers. Ooh. To our... Jbro viewers, yeah. our subscriber family, and all the newcomers, thank you so much. Please give this a thumbs up mm -hmm. if you um, want more of this stuff. Of this stuff, I don't think so. And if you if you don't want to either, please give a thumbs up. Yeah. And comment what we should do next. <sighs> mm. I really taste the French man. <laughs>
you can season this at all, but it's okay. okay. I, I think I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna I think go. John's gonna like it. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. Yeah. You are so good. Mm. Dude, this turkey. Would you eat this? Like I, I would. I would. Yeah. So simple. Yeah, I, I look forward to coming home and eating this. Wow, uh, I would too. Yeah. It's like I don't want to eat outside. It's like uh, I have something pretty good. Mm. <laughs> and a two meat chicken. What a day, man! Day full of surprises. Like this is still pretty good, right? It's juicy. Yeah. Oh, so uh, our viewers do want to know <laughs> what happened with the the flushing waitress, Iris. Iris just didn't work out. Things just didn't work out. Man. I'm approaching 30. I, I am 30 actually. I mean, she was quite young. I think she's a full-time student plus she's working like multiple jobs. I don't think she was interested in like dating. Um, nor am I. Happens. I'd say yeah. most of these encounters don't end up. Yeah, yeah. Around too much, but it's worth trying. Yeah. Any goals for 2020? Well, my number one goal is to finish my PhD. Yeah. Number two goal is to uh, build up this channel. The three goal is to uh, build up my startup company, which maybe I make a video about. Okay. Um, and number four is maybe find love. No. Why are you laughing? <laughs> well, what's, what's funny? <laughs> what's funny, bro? Uh, so when you said it. Do you not want me to? Find no, I do, dude. Oh. I'm your biggest fan. Okay. I just don't think your mindset's in. Your, your priority is not dating right now. It's not. Which is cool. It really is. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. I tried that, you know, back in back when I was younger. This, this is just, I can't believe this is Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> I have papers. Believe it or not. I don't believe it, but... Alright, don't believe it. <laughs> what's, what's your plan for 2020, John? This year... Logos plan. Graduating from my residency. Done with my training. This is many years in the making. Right now, I'm in a busy time where I'm talking to practice owners, clinic owners, potential partners. Um, a lot of options right now. And actually, social media has allowed me to cast a wider net. Yeah. So I'm very thankful for that. The 2020 big things for my career, for this channel too. Off camera, we were just talking about how grateful we are for this, for people who followed us um, in our journey from 2019, and, and then recently people who've been encouraging us. Mm -hmm. um, that's what makes it fun. It's a wrap. I need to finish this. Okay, I can't believe you're still eating. <laughs> I give you so much. <laughs> well, I'm eating one on close out. Whether you like to cook. Delicious food, or whether you don't care about flavor at all, all about efficiency. Just have respect for each other's views. I like that. And it's all about you know. I don't respect you though. Oh. All right, forget everything I said. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, guys, if you made it to this part of the video, you're the OG. You're the realist. Thank you for watching. Let's stay tuned. Yeah.